Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education. I am your narrator, Frank Avella. This presentation will cover a variety of different topics in relation to drug and alcohol abuses with students. Smoking and vaping are both quite addictive, dangerous, and harmful, but will not be covered in this presentation. So let's begin with a brief overview and introduction. Because students are still learning in this world, it is up to the adults to inform them of the dangers that come with using drugs. Drugs have the ability to affect a person's mood, their emotions, and overall personality, usually in a negative way. Many drug addicts and alcoholics slip into poverty. Research shows a direct relationship between drug addiction and economic struggles. There are a wide variety of health risks. It literally changes the way someone's brain functions. One statistic states that over 80% of individuals in jail have reported using drugs in an illicit manner. Next up, we'll explore some of the reasons as to why students frequently use drugs. Peer pressure is one of the most common reasons. Students pressure their friends into using drugs. It may be an individual friend or a group of friends. Another reason is simply boredom. Students may view drinking and drugs as a good time yet not realize its unintended consequences. There is a social aspect, especially when it comes to alcohol use. Alcohol is sometimes used by shy and quiet students as a way of opening up a bit. Lastly, drugs and alcohol may be used to mask or heal any emotional pain. However, it never solves any of these emotional problems or pain. Remember, none of these reasons justify the associated dangers of using drugs and alcohol. Continuing with the presentation, we'll look at some of the responsibilities of educators, friends, and family. All school staff are responsible for their students' safety according to both state and federal laws. Schools must put in place various drug prevention programs to help curb drug use. One example includes the DARE prevention program. If you are a friend or relative of a student with a drug habit, it's so important that you get that student or friend help. And teachers, you have a legal responsibility to report student drug use. The next section will provide a brief overview of several different drugs and their accompanying symptoms. We'll begin by taking a look at alcohol. First off, alcohol is one of the most accessible of all categories. Students may simply take alcohol from their parents or siblings. Alcohol is in use in many social settings. This obviously includes parties. Children notice this is acceptable in many adult settings. One of the biggest dangers of drinking alcohol is the risk of getting alcohol poisoning. Alcohol poisoning often occurs at college campuses. Some of the symptoms we should be on the lookout for in students include slurring speech, smell of alcohol, stumbling, loud talking, drowsiness, or being aggressive, having hangover-like symptoms, and light sensitivity. Now, I wanna take a quick break and ask that you please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button also, you can find a full slides presentation lesson in the description below. The next drug in the presentation is marijuana, sometimes called pot or weed, herb, bud, trees. It has many different names. People often take this drug because they believe it will help them become relaxed. Marijuana is the most commonly used drug and its consumption is on the rise in adults. It is a plant found all throughout the world and its leaves are removed, dried and used to be smoked. Its chemical THC is sometimes vaped instead. Be on the lookout for these symptoms in students. Increased appetite, lung irritation, bloodshot eyes, mood changes, and having slow coordination. Moving forward, we come up to heroin. Heroin falls under the classification of narcotics or opioids. Students may get acquainted with these narcotics when using them to treat painful injuries. Heroin affects a person's senses and users describe it as a feeling of euphoria. Heroin is derived from morphine and used to treat pain, but is a much faster acting substance and it is consumed as a white or brown powder. Symptoms of heroin include the following, pale skin, short breaths, constricted pupils, slow responses, flushed skin, convulsion, nodding off, and drowsiness. The next drug to be covered is cocaine. Cocaine is highly addictive. It also creates a euphoria and alertness that can cause individuals to seek more and more. 
users will immediately begin to build a tolerance to the drug, meaning they require more and more of the drug to feel its full effect. Cocaine is a stimulant. It sort of speeds up things for the user of the drug. It also brings about increased energy. Now here's a list of some of the symptoms, which include body tremors, repetitive actions, hand shaking, high energy, anxiety, extreme fatigue, lack of focus, and having no appetite. Continuing, we come upon methamphetamines or just meth. Meth can be consumed as a powder, a pill, or the commonly used crystalline form known as crystal meth. Repeated use of this dangerous drug can lead to facial disfigurement and a person becomes a quote meth head. Just google the faces of meth and you'll see what I mean. Meth is also a stimulant leading to increased energy. Students that take this will feel like they can stay up forever. Here are some of the symptoms you'll find in users of meth. Violent behavior, high body temperature, mood swings, tooth decay, skin sores, no appetite, body tremors, and insomnia. Now we're really moving along and we come up to ecstasy or MDMA. Ecstasy is known as a club drug or dance party drug. It's very popular with the younger crowd. When crushed from a pill, MDMA is often mixed with alcohol and found at parties. Users report becoming very empathetic and being in a heightened state of emotions, they usually feel very loving. Here is a list of the symptoms. Sweating, having the chills, raised body temperature, blurred vision, clenching teeth, having sleep issues, increased pulse, dehydration, and nausea. The next drug to be covered is LSD, lysergic acid diethylamide. LSD is a synthetic drug, meaning it was created using man-made materials as opposed to using natural ingredients. LSD is notorious for its hallucinogenic properties. Hallucinogenic effects are mostly psychological and have little to no effect on the physical body. LSD has intense effects including out-of-body experiences and is usually orally consumed in paper squares. You can recognize students that use this drug because they may exhibit the following symptoms such as vomiting, distorted thinking, having flashbacks, memory loss, paranoia, slow movements, senses mixing, and bizarre actions. And we arrive at magic mushrooms or just shrooms. Shrooms are formerly known as psilocybin. This drug is usually consumed orally or eaten either fresh or dry. Mushrooms are found naturally throughout the world and is sometimes used in recipes. This drug is a hallucinogen. It is not addictive. However, it may cause psychotic episodes for students that consume this drug. Some of the symptoms to be on the lookout for include increased sense, numbness, anxiety, disorientation, panic, having the chills, a lack of focus, and hallucinations. As we finish up this presentation, the last drug studied here is Adderall. Adderall may be prescribed to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder in children. It is effective when used properly. Many students take this drug because they feel the need to focus and they believe it will help. Users say that this drug alters their personality. Adderall is also used to treat narcolepsy. Students again use this drug to stay awake and cram for tests and study. Some of the signs to be on the lookout for include being talkative or socially withdrawn, overworking, weight loss, hygiene issues, memory loss, being very secretive, and getting extra sleep from staying up so late. Now, let me end this presentation with a quote from a musician that died from an overdose. Drugs are a waste of time. They destroy your memory and your self-respect and everything that goes along with your self-esteem. Right now, I just want to say thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the thumbs up button, and get the slides presentation in the description link below.